I'm gonna probably hand it to you in a minute. Okay. All right, so this is Minnie. She's an F1 Sheepa Doodle. She's so pretty. And we are gonna go over preparation, how to tell if she's close. She should be, she's due today. So we're gonna go over every step. We've been breeding for over a decade. So we'll kind of go with our process. So the first things we like to do is mama is in her own area for about three days before she goes into labor. So what we do is, this is like kind of the setup from a far out angle. So this is our floor and then we grab laminate. You can buy it from Home Depot in a six by eight roll. And then underneath the laminate, we have a heater and the heater goes under her whelping box. And this is a little blanket that we create. So this little blanket will absorb any of the fluids from the puppies or the mom when she's giving birth. So she's gonna go into labor any minute. This is a whelping box. This is a magnum whelping box. It's hard in plastic, it's a half inch thick, super durable, and you literally can stand on the edges and it won't break. So those roll bars right here will help if any puppies sneak behind mom. In the middle of labor, we switch out these blankets. We just get a blanket from Costco, a king size blanket. We cut them in quarters and then in half again, and then we just hem the edges. So this is the setup there. And then we buy these little whelping cages. So mom has the freedom to jump in and out of the whelping box. <coughs> As she's giving birth, if she needs to get water or food, she can. But let's go over the set, the signs, and then we're gonna take, uh, take her temperature. So again, this is Minnie. She's a little F1 sheep -a doodle so she's having mini sheep -a doodles So first sign, sheep -a doodles are highly food motivated. So she didn't eat any of her food today. So that's a really good sign. She's lowering her internal body temperature. She's getting prepped so she can save all of her energy so she can start pushing. All right, so Lashawn is gonna film this part. And the first thing we're gonna do is check her mammary gland. So come over here, you guys can zoom in. So the mammary glands are these little glands right here on her body. And you can tell they're starting to get milk. So what we're gonna do is just squeeze right here and see that's colostrum. So they are starting to produce milk. They're getting really close. So here's more colostrum for you guys right there. So they're filling up and this is typically happens within a day or two of labor. So you just wanna squeeze really gently. The second thing we're gonna do is check her backside right here. We're gonna see how swollen she is. So she's getting more and more swollen. It's looking good. And then we're gonna take her temperature right now. <laughs> See how alert she is with her head forward? She knows it's getting close. They start acting a lot different. So let me grab that thermometer. We also have done ultrasounds and x-rays. One thing you can do is a reverse progesterone test. Oh, you gotta show this little kid. I've had this for 10 years. <laughs> it was my wife's makeup bag that we got as a joke one Valentine's Day. And we've used the same kit the whole time. So sometimes I'll tape the tail if it's really messy. I'll put some cloth down and tape it. But typically you don't need to. This is just blood caught if you ever need it, but I'd never use it anymore. <laughs> but we're gonna take your temperature. So, I like to use a glove. You guys can do whatever you want. I just start the thermometer. I stick it in this glove. <laughs> they make tips for them, by the way. And then we're just gonna just go right 
right here in her booty area and stick it right in her bum and take your temperature really fast. Almost done. So come read this, Lashana. You can see the temperature right here. Um, can you see it? Not really. Okay. So it's rising. Oh, we pet her. So there's the temperature. If it's below 100, they're usually going to start pushing within 12 hours from our experience. If it stays above 100, so it's at 99.3. Nine, oh, so she's going to give birth within 12 hours. So it was 99.4. A dog's temperature is between 101 and 102.5. So her temperature is dropping because she's about to go into labor. So that's a really good sign. So at put it all together, right? Her temperature's dropping. She's not eating. She's staying put. So see how she's staying in her whelping area. She doesn't want to come out. She's been here for about three days so she can start feeling comfortable. She doesn't really want to call out, like, obviously, if I call her, come here, let's go, come on. Good girl. Let's see if I get closer to her. Are you going to come with me? Do you see how she wants to stay? <laughs> Minnie, you want to go? Come here. Come on. Are you going to stay in your box? <laughs> So obviously she's really friendly, but do you see how she's staying in her kennel? She knows she's getting really, really close. So other signs to look out for, she's having a little bit of discharge. Do you see this little mucus discharge? So that's a really good sign to watch when she's about to go into labor. But the last thing right before she's about to go into labor is they'll start heavy panting, the breathing, breathing. And then we obviously have a camera on them so we can watch. But we'll go live on TikTok if you go to Utah Doodles and she'll have all of her puppies born live on TikTok. And sometimes we're live on YouTube, but not as much. The last thing I wanted to show you are all the products we use. No, 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 we're going to come back. All right. <laughs> so every single puppy, we use a flower sack towel. And we just use one per puppy and we throw them away. They're super, super cheap. It's like $6 for this whole bundle. They absorb the moisture incredibly well when a puppy's born. That way you can get all the moisture off their face so they don't aspirate. Super critical. We go through a bunch of these. They're our favorite. We don't wash them, we just throw them away. Like I was telling you earlier, sometimes, because these dogs have hair, not fur, we tape their tail so they don't get a bunch of crap in their tail. But she's groomed short enough where it's not gonna matter. Then we always have we're gonna buzz her belly here in a second. So this is a little trimmer. So we just buzz their belly. That way the puppies can find the nipples to nurse. We always have a jar full of alcohol. And during the entire labor, we have alcohol and forceps in the jar just like this, full full of uh, rubbing alcohol. So when we need to trim the umbilical cord, these are just soaking in alcohol. So we can just grab them out, trim the umbilical cord, put them right back in, and then we clean them after the end of the entire labor. And then I've used this same, uh, 
sorry. I've used this exact same nasal aspirator for years and years. You can buy all of this stuff on breedingempire.com. But what I love about this aspirator is a really good spring. So when you're helping puppies, it's like really good. And they come apart so you know whether it's clean or not. And you can boil them if you want. But they're super easy to put together and they're super easy to take apart. So, and then when you're done, you just pull it right apart and you can wash them. That way you don't have to go over, go through so many of these white so you know if it's dirty or not. But she's getting close. What do you think, Lashana? I'm ready for it. It's gonna be 2 a.m. I'm sure. I know. See how she's like staying put? You know it's close. But show them our little box. This is like our traveling kit. So we're always prepped for delivery. Um, everybody does it a little differently. We always just have it right on hand. So you guys can pick it up, get ready to go. But that's our little kit. Ready to roll. We are live. So you, if, we're gonna post this video. If you wanna end it now, you can. But if you guys have any questions? <laughs> we'll probably go live on TikTok too. To, for the birth, so. All right. Thanks guys. See you later.